put the phone? That's not over there. Oh. Hello? Yeah, hi. Yeah, look, I'll have to call you back. Okay, great. Okay, see you then. Bye. Hello, and thank you for watching another edition of Telco Steve's Workbench. Today we're in the garage, and I'm away from the workbench, but the last time I was over here, I was talking to somebody on the phone, so I was using my Imperial uh, death set, and it's otherwise uh, known as an Imperial set from Western Electric, and it's over here because it has a cloth cord on it that's nine and a half feet long, stretching from a subset unit that's mounted over by my dial tone on my workbench. So with that, we're going to be talking about this set today. The Western Electric Imperial set was produced during the 1950s. It was a set that was a commemorative edition by Western Electric for their 75th anniversary. And they plated the phone, a base, that they had from existing stock of their zinc alloy 202D1 body mount telephone. What I mean by that is the oval base, some people refer to it as the oval base, but it's commonly referred to by others as the D1 that has the D1 marking on the back. Now, we really do want to talk about that a little bit. Um, the D1 had several types, and it was according to handset mounting at the time, they had a 206A, they had a D5 type hand mounting set, they had a 207A type hand telephone set, and those came with type of wiring for side tone and anti side tone uh, service for subscribers, and that sort of thing. It gets into a very lengthy discussion, and one that we just can't get into right now on the video. Let's just leave it with this, and that simply is, is that this is modeled after the D1, and it does, well, modeled after it, it is the D1, because it says D1 USA on it, right there. <laughs> Sorry, it's a video, okay? Uh, this isn't Hollywood, folks, so I do apologize, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> don't quit your day job, Steve, I know. So, uh, the 202 also came in a B1 mount. Now, the B1 was a round base, okay? So, that we've got our round bases B1 mount and our oval bases D1 mount that had several D series according to cordage and according to service types and this sort of thing. The Imperial set primarily was a, uh, a D1, came from a lot of D1 stock. And that is no different with this guy right here in case you hadn't noticed. The dial when this Imperial set came, this guy is from 1957, 557 is when he was built. And the dial had a lot of use on him. And the plastic ring was cracked. Plus the dial was inoperable. So instead of selling you junk, I, I really take a lot of pride in this. I'm sorry I do. When I sell you a telephone, you can count on the fact that it will work. Why? Because I was a Bell System telephone technician. So I decided to replace it with a 1976 six type dial. And it looks kind of good. It's got a brass ring on it. The dial numbers are clear. The, it's got a great look to it. It does have some chips on the phone. It has a chip on the front where the plating is coming off. No, it is not gold plated. It is not 24 karat gold plated. It's a brass plate and uh, they sprayed it with a gold lacquer. In case you're wondering, that's what the Imperial set, that's how they did it. They also came with an F1 handset. This guy is a little, you know, he's a little chewed up, sorry. Um, again, this phone I'm selling to somebody who wants to start a phone collection, who thinks that antique telephones are great. I'm focusing in this video for you giving you something that you can replace parts and pieces to. It's got a four foot handset, cloth handset cord on it. It's got a nine foot, as I explained, line cord that goes to the wood subset. The wood subset is not an original subset. It is a subset that I made, well, I put together 
a 533A like LEICH magneto set with no magneto in it. And I placed a 685A network um, kind of <laughs> in here. He's got a network in it and he's wired up so uh, you can utilize it with today's uh, technology by just simply plugging in a modular cord into the modular plug on the inside and as you heard the bells do ring. It's got a great base on it. It's got the wiring is all hooked up so what do you do in case you you want to get into that? You kind of you take it apart slowly and you document it what wire goes exactly where and uh, if you do that, and if you find yourself tripped up or something like that, get a hold of me if you do buy this, and I'll be happy to assist you in getting it going once again. The phone does have dial tone, and it does, pardon me, and it does break dial. Okay, the phone works great. Uh, the area code 213 on it. I don't know where the phone really originated, but it is an imperial set. Look it up on Wikipedia if you care to. It is not a continental set, at least I believe it is. And it is a phone that Western Electric, as I mentioned, used all the zinc alloy bases from the 202 D1 body, D series body mount sets. They reused them and they applied the F1 handset instead of the E1 handset. This F1 handset they painted. They painted it to match the switch hook, the plastic switch hook, and the ivory base, both color ivory. So they painted them. Now, in some cases and in some instances, you'll be able to find yourself a ivory F1 handset. And if that was the case, they're they're fairly expensive. They run anywhere from about fifty six dollars to $75, depending on, you know, the, the eBay gods are with you, and um, you could replace it, and you, you could slowly rebuild your phone and get your phone looking great, have it next to your bed stand, have it in your man cave, have it by your kitchen in your living room, have your, your friends over, they can look at it and go, wow, what is that? Now, when you do go to plug this in, you must have pulse rotary dial telephone service from your local service provider, your telephone company, in order for this phone to dial since it is a pulse signaling device. Some VoIP systems, if not all, do not support that. So you must be aware of all of that information. I guess we've come to the end of this. We, got, <laughs> we had a lot of ground to cover. And maybe we did and maybe we didn't. I want to sell this phone to somebody who's interested in getting involved in telephones. And hopefully that person is here. Hang on a second. Excuse me. Hello? Uh, no, thank you. Not interested. No, I don't want to take a subscription to cell phones. I've already got a cell phone. Thanks. Unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately. Bye. Anyway, have a good day. And, and thank you for watching Telco Steve's Workbench.